If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel. Hi, welcome to Learn JMeter series. In this season 2 episode 6, we are going to see about JSON extractor. In last episode we have seen about regex extractor where you will be able to extract anything from the page. But uh, if you want to extract the uh, JSON responses, particularly if you are working in the web performance projects, then you can go for a JSON extractor instead of the regex extractor. So this extractor is a type of post processor element where you will be able to extract data from the JSON responses using the JSON path syntax. You can check this uh, GitHub link where you will learn more about JSON path and how you can use. And this element must be placed uh, as a child to the HTTP sampler or the element which has the uh, JSON responses. So that is the only thing you have to uh, take care uh, while working with the JSON extractor. And this is how it looks. It is pretty much similar to regex extractor uh, where you will be able to see the apply to field and the name of the variable. And instead of the regex, uh, you will have here the JSON path expressions. where it will start with a dollar symbol dot and something and the match number so zero for random minus one for everything and uh, n is for the nth occurrence and there is a field uh, to enter the default value if no match found uh, the default value will be sent to the subsequent request and there is a checkbox uh, compute concatenation where so if you are uh, if the results uh, are many basically then you can concatenate uh, everything together uh, and then uh, it will use the comma separated uh, uh, value and then it will append the suffix underscore all so that is the purpose of the compute concatenation bar and once you are uh, done with your uh, json uh, extractor you can also uh, check in the view results tree or you can use the debug sampler but uh, jmeter has a one utility where you will be able to test your json path expressions so if you If you are into uh, view results tree and change the type to JSON path extractor like this, you will get a, a JSON path expression at the bottom where you can write your own expression. And if you click the uh, test button, then you will be able to uh, extract the content. Or you can use the online tools like uh, JSON Path dot com uh, where you can write the uh, JSON path and you will be able to validate your expression. Okay, now uh, let us see a quick demo how you can use the JSON path. expression uh, in the json extractor so here uh, to demonstrate the uh, json extractor uh, i am going to work with uh, pet store so this is the uh, url petstore.swagger.io and this is my first request create order so basically it will place an order uh, using the random id here and the pet id 1 quantity is 1 and the date uh, ship date basically a uh, future date and the status is placed and the complete is true and whenever i run this uh, request uh, you will get a pet id uh, quantity and the id number so this is where uh, we are going to work so basically we will be retrieving this id order id 443 or whatever the id is and then we are going to uh, get the details or we can uh, try the delete order so we are going to create an order and we are going to delete an order so to delete an order we have to retrieve the id number so how do we retrieve the id number from the response so to retrieve uh, as i mentioned we have to add the post processor type by right clicking on the element which we are going to retrieve and by going to add post processor and select uh, json extractor so here we have to uh, give a name so let us give uh, extract underscore order id and uh, json path so this is where our utility uh, will come very handy so in your uh, view results tree and select the type as uh, json path extractor here and here we can write uh, the uh, expression so basically it starts with the dollar the root dot id so this will extract the id number so if you click on test it, you, you can see the result is uh, 443 if you want to extract the complete status you can type complete or if you want to extract a status we can type status so it will give you the right value so in this case we are going with the id so click on test it will give you the id number just to copy this and paste it in your json path expression and here the match number is 1 you 
you're going to find the first occurrence of the id and default value is no order uh, found so this is our default value so now uh, if i execute in the debug sampler, you can see the extract underscore order ID 531 and total number of ID found is uh, 1. Now if I execute again, uh, the order ID will vary because every time the new new order ID we are placing. So that is why it is giving the unique ID. So now uh, let us uh, formulate the delete order. So to delete order what I am going to do, I am going to uh, duplicate this, the create order and I am going to rename it as uh, delete and I'm going to uh, delete the uh, JSON extractor which because we don't need and we are going to I'm going to delete the body data which we do not need and the HTTP method is uh, delete and the order so which order we are going to delete is we have to send the order number so order uh, v2 slash store slash uh, slash order slash the variable name which we have extracted here so extract underscore order id so this is the order id which we are going to delete once it is created so just to give some uh, duration uh, what we can do we can add the timer so basically here we can add some timer constant timer uh, say uh, two seconds so after two seconds uh, it will delete the order so now the order has been created after two seconds it will delete the order so if you go to delete the uh, delete order uh, request you can see the order id is five to eight and if you go to create order uh, request you can see the post data which is five to eight and the response data is uh, this one and the delete order also it is successful so whenever we run it will create an order and it will wait for two seconds and then it deletes and uh, if, if you keep on running you can see uh, the order whichever is created it will get deleted after two seconds so in this case the json extractor is very very uh, helpful for us uh, and uh, if you are mainly working with uh, json responses even the web page also uh, written json sometimes uh, if you uh, deep dive into the request you can see the json response dot json or something else will be there uh, then in that case you can definitely use the uh, json extractor instead of uh, regex even you can use also you can use regex but json will give the flexibility uh, it will go gels with the json format and then you can do a lot of stuffs uh, i want to uh, tell you uh, the online tool uh, which is uh, json uh, path uh, dot com so if you go to json path dot com you can see uh, the uh, inputs and here you can see the evaluation results and here you can write the uh, json so here let us say i want to retrieve the first name so if you type it will give you the results uh, in the right side and there are a lot of uh, descriptions available here if you just expand you can see dollar is for the root artist for the current object and uh, you can get some uh, little bit of help uh, if you are not sure about your uh, json uh, path so uh, this utility will be very helpful, uh, particularly if you are working with uh, JSON path. So that's it guys from my side. If you have any time, uh, uh, please go to my next tutorial. And if you have any questions, please post it to QA Insights community. Uh, register at community.qainsights.com. So thanks for watching. Have a great day. If you like my dad's videos, please subscribe to QA Insights channel.